begin with the state's largest charter school at the center of an investigation by the State Department of Education. State Superintendent Joy Hoffmeister says the investigation into Epic Charter Schools reveals serious problems that may have led to more than eight and a half million dollars in misspending. 2 News Oklahoma's Jeanette Quesada has been digging into that investigation and walks us through it tonight. Jeanette. Well, Karen, the State Department of Education says the investigation raises serious concerns about how administrators at Epic Charter Schools handled many things from governance, enrollment, and attendance to excessive bonuses. Nearly $8.6 million in bonus compensation was improperly paid to Epic administrators on June 7th, 2021. Again, in violation of state law. Tonight, the State Board of Education calling out Epic Charter Schools board members after an investigation found school leaders misused taxpayer dollars, violated state law, and fostered an environment of fear among staff. The State Department of Education launched the investigation after a complaint from a former member of Epic's governing board, Community Strategies, Inc. Leaders say enrollment is the most alarming issue. Nearly 5,000 students reported being absent for 14 days, present for the 15th day, and absent for the next 14 days. According to state law, a virtual charter school student must be dropped from the rolls and considered truant if they do not complete an instructional activity for 15 consecutive days. It appears Epic may have intentionally created an algorithm to adapt to the new law in such a way that a large number of students were never absent on the 15th day, were not dropped from enrollment, and Epic continued to receive funding for these students. Hoffmeister says it appears Epic misallocated nearly $800,000. She says the investigation also revealed a superintendent and two other Epic staff improperly gave excessive compensation to employees without board approval. The investigation indicates Epic provided some reasoning for why certain bonuses exceeded contract amounts, but all of them violated state law. The state superintendent says the report sheds light on serious problems with EPIC leadership and raises concerns about how these violations impacted student learning. We know that uh, many of our children have had setbacks um, over the last couple of years and we um, would be very deeply troubled to not see advancement or growth. When you see a number like you see here, um, 6,400 students that are not, um, that are absent 50% of the time, uh, that's larger than a lot of school districts in Oklahoma, the entire district, you know, so th this is a large number of children and of course as parents we would be very concerned. And this isn't the first time Epic has been investigated. A separate state audit in 2020 found misspending by former founders. Last year, a grand jury report called for more transparency and oversight. Hoffmeister says she's going to recommend to the State Board of Education that Epic be placed on probation. We did reach out to Epic for comment, but were unable to reach anyone. Live in studio, Janet Quesada, 2 News, Oklahoma.